is one of my favorite applications of arrays. So suppose we have a researcher who entered data into this um, Excel file or other type of file in such a way that made sense to them, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to SAS. That is, they put variables in rows and observations in columns instead of the other way around. So we have rats 1 through 20 across columns instead of down rows. So what can we do to deal with this? Well, I created this file that uses arrays to basically transpose the data set. A faster way to do this would probably be to use PROC transpose, but this is just an interesting example of how to use arrays. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring it in and use first ops equals two. In other words, I'm going to start SAS reading right here on this second line because I don't really care about the rat numbers. Those are just observation numbers. They go chronologically 1 through 20. Great. I'll create a new variable for that later. So I'm going to say input w1 in lines 1 through 12. So I'm, I'm doing this column input for this variable because there's a space here between the word rat and the word, well, between tr the word treatment and the word dose. Um, and then I'm going to input dose 1 through dose 20. These are the dose numbers. And then I'm going to, that backslash says, let's go to the next line. So I go to the next line. And then I input variable w2. That's the second word, remission. And then I'm going to go um, um, enter rem1 through rem20, which is all these falses and trues, whether or not they were in remission. Now, the interesting thing is, when I try to make this second array, let me show you the um, error message that SAS gives me when I try to do that. So if I run it, I get this error message. All variables in array list must be of the same type, i.e. all numeric or all character. So apparently, this rem1 through rem20 with a dollar sign isn't enough for SAS to really believe that those are indeed all character variables. So because I'm using this shortcut and I don't want to have to write out rem1 dollar, rem2 dollar, rem3 dollar, I'm going to use this attrib statement up here. So let me get rid of these comment characters. So I'm just going to format using um, a, a character variable, and it's only one character long, so that's all I'm worried about. And then I'm going to throw these two variables into arrays. Array X gets the doses, and array Y has whether or not they're in remission, the T's and F's. Then I create this nice little do loop. So what's going on is um, for, say, here are my doses, 25, 30, 35, and so on, da, 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 and then say this is T, and this is F, and you know, so so on along the way. Dose, okay, this is going to be x1 will hold the value 25, and then x2 and so on. y1 holds the value t, okay? So dose is going to get x1, so now I'm going to create these other two variables over here. So dose and remiss. I'm going to call it REM for now. These two variables, first, when I is 1, dose gets 25. So dose is 25, and then remiss is going to get the value T. And then we're going to output that. That means put that as the first observation and don't write over it. If you miss this output statement, you're going to end up with a data set that only has one observation in it. Then we'll go to the next i is 2, 35, goes over here, and then f, and so on and so forth. And we'll go down along the way like that. Then I, all I want to keep from this data set are the dose variable and the remiss variable. You can also keep the i variable. That's going to give us that very top column, the rat number. So if I run this, then I end up with what I wanted, which was the observations in rows and the variables in columns.